up guys and welcome back to an episode of my F1 Love Our Racing Career Mode. We are here for episode number 23 today for the first ever Hungarian Grand Prix in season 4. If you guys didn't miss the previous episode at the British Grand Prix, then definitely be sure to go check that one out before you see this one. A very, very interesting episode as we made our way up through the field once again. And coming into Hungary, well, I hate to say this guys, but I'm going to have to break my promise here. Um, I've never raced around Hungary, to be honest. Um, so I have no idea how this is really going to work out. So I'm going to do... I'll quality lap and see how it goes. I mean, I might get full position, I might not. Personally, I'm not very strong around Hungary, to be honest. As they look through the qualifying, they're going to have a look ahead of Ricardo, Paris, Stroll, Vettel, Verstappen, Bottas, Norris, Sainz, and Raikkonen as they complete the top 10. But yeah, back to what I said about Hungary. I've never really raced around here, so I have no idea how this is going to work. So I'm going to do this. I'm sorry, but we'll see. I'll see if I can make the race taste here. As we start our hot lap with DRS wide open down the main straight. Coming into turn one, should be easy, breaking down into second, you can see missing the apex completely there, as you open DRS once again, and head down another straight, and uh, coming towards turn three, down a third gear, and this time we to try to hang it around the outside, but I was like, no, 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 that's not going to work, we had to get on the brakes there a little bit, and now coming towards the start of sector two, and I think towards turn five, as we go through the left-hander, 30.023 as our first sector time. It is a purple sector, so maybe I should have not done qualified. Maybe I'm actually better than I thought. As I come through the tricky chicane section, very easy to cut the corner here and also lose a lot of time, so be careful about that. Now coming through the S section, trying to hold it flat out, but yeah, you can see how well that went. That was pretty horrendous. As I come through another left-hander, and now the last right-hander of the section, that one's easy. And now starting tactic 3, you can see 29.536, again, we were saying more purple sectors as we, uh, well, missed that apex pretty much completely there. I mean, maybe we actually have some good pace to run hungry, I'm not, I'm actually not too sure about this. As they come through the long line, and, and oh my gosh, that underscale was crazy as we almost clipped the wall there. As they come out of the last corner, uh, not sure really when to fully act, um, fully press the throttle there. As they go DRS across the line, wall position, and, uh, by a certain margin, I must say, so maybe it was... Uh, good for us to actually not to qualify, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's qualified. Let's go for the race. Here's the starting grid. It is us, Hamilton, Paris, Ricardo, Vettel, Bottas, Sainz, Verstappen, Stroll, Alonso, Norris, Raikkonen, Nota, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Mazepin, Gatsby, Schumacher, Russell, Latifi, to complete the grid. As here we go, then, to five. Red line for the Hungarian Grand Prix, the first ever Hungarian Grand Prix. It's lights out! And away we go, it's a good start from us. Hamilton though gets a better so you can see him inching ahead as we head out towards turn one. Uh, Hamilton's gonna get the lead though into turn one. Let's see how this works out. And now coming through the long right hander, Hamilton backs out of it and we get away. And you know, I was thinking here, you know, because we did, we did qualifying and we kind of gave ourselves an advantage by doing pole position. There's something interesting I want to show you, and it's gonna be good. As he comes out of this right hand there, um, I'm gonna pull something funny here, and just casually know what I'm doing. As he comes through the left hand, we're gonna get on the brakes, and we're just gonna casually slow down. You know, just chill here, get into neutral, let everyone go. We're gonna go right about now, as he now drop to 11th place. Now we got some work to do. As we come out of the right hander, and coming towards the chicane once again. So now, Essentially what we've done is we dropped ourselves to P11, we've given Hamilton the lead, so let's see if we can make our way back up the field as we come through the S section. North is getting held up, I think, by Yuki Sonoda, obviously that McLaren is much better than the Alphatari, as we're pretty much pushing North, as he gets such a bad exit out of that right hand jump, and we easily pass up into 10th place, now coming into the right hand, and we complete this apex again with that sun glare, it's so hard to see the apex. Not even funny. As we thought about going around the outside of Yuki Sonoda, but I thought better of it. And now coming to the right hander in the last corner on this left. But Yuki Sonoda is going so slow. We were practically pushing him through, and we did make some contact with him. We do manage to power our way through and up into P9 at the start. The uh, second lap of three in this Hungarian Grand Prix. Alonso, our team, just ahead of us. And head down the gears, down to third gear. And uh, we did miss the apex a little bit. That apex is also pretty hard to get. But I think we're going to get it. And if good run on Fernando Alonso, are we going to set it up the inside? Yes, we are. Title uh, teammates almost clashing together. I was say title rivals. I meant teammates almost clashing together. Luckily, we get away uh, pretty unscathed, although Alonso does lose the place. As we come towards second two, a 
through this wall like in a battle is going so slow and we're gonna send it up the inside easy does it uh for the throttle and now squeezing out get the elza and up into p7 i thought about going there on monstro but it was just too far and i was risking a lot of damage there as it comes to the left hand another right you can see stroll again it's going so slow it's not even funny at this point stroll gonna move on before i personally ran you off the track as it comes out of the right hand there and are we gonna get enough run no we're not we actually has a pretty decent run out of the next corner but we're gonna set it up the inside down a second here flip that apex perfectly and get the elbows out and up into p6 as you're on the back of Max Verstappen, who did start 8th, I must know, and now he's moved up into 5th place. So he's made some moves up uh, from the start as he comes through the long right-hander and on the, the main straight to start the final lap of this Hungarian Grand Prix. Obviously, Hamilton's probably gifted the win. I could have probably ran away with this, but I thought to make the race a little spicier as we go through. So we're going to set it up the inside of Max Verstappen and just about make the corner, which uh, that was a very, very late move. I was actually pretty scared there. Perhaps the second we were going to make it, but luckily we managed to do it. And Verstappen did not close the door. And do you think we can make a move on the outside of Bounce the Balls? No! He actually goes to the right side and closes the door so aggressively that we make contact with him. Another contact with Mercedes, and it's crazy. Verstappen almost decided to go around the outside. He thought better of it, in fact. Yeah. And now we're going to set it up on the inside of Bounce the just as we did with Sebastian Vettel on the previous lap. And now we got a good run on Daniel Ricciardo, almost squeezing us, almost making tires. But we're the last delay breakers, but in the process again we get a corner cut again very easy to get a corner cut there but luckily we come away um still in the final podium spot sorry there i had to uh recover my words there a little bit and to come through the right hander and the start of second through the final lap uh hamilton's probably gonna take the win Perez though still pressurizing him if he can make a move into the final two quarters i don't think so he's still there but uh i think it's just a little too far back you see we are catching up we do have some very good pace around the hungar and compared to the AI, so maybe we're not as bad as I thought, as we go very wide though, and uh, but then as we open DRS and finish up the Hungarian Grand Prix with a strong third place, uh, behind Hamilton, Paris, but ahead of Ricardo, Verstappen, Bottas, Vettel, Alonso finishes 8th, Toyota and Norris complete the top 10. Thank you all so much for watching, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.